So Grobies, I was kicking around the internet today, randomly, and I was in a forum that somebody actually tagged uh, Seal TV from, and from the stash, which is pretty cool. And it got me thinking about one of the biggest things I feel like is holding this community back and holding back a lot of growers in general. And this is something I feel like a lot of people probably deal with as well. And it's uh, kind of takes us all the way back to like going to school, regular grade school, depending on where you live. But did you ever run into a situation where you didn't know the answer to something, but you also didn't want to look stupid for not knowing the answer to something. So instead of asking for help or having somebody, you know, maybe nudge in the right direction, you just kept your hand down and said nothing. Continue to be ignorant and uh, kind of just go through the motions of, of education without getting any education. That, that fucking sucks, right? I feel like as a community, we, uh, we need to do better at not putting others down who are trying to learn. Not everybody's gonna be at the same pace as you or at the same place as you. That's cool, motherfucking boy! Some people are just getting started and others may have programming or may have a belief, a logical fallacy that the way they're doing it is a better way about going at it instead of being more efficient or more practical or getting the better results quicker. Now, unless somebody asks you for help, it's kind of unsolicited advice. Nobody, nobody gives a shit. My boy Chris actually says it's a backseat grower and Mr. Grower, I'm gonna take that from you. Don't be a fucking backseat grower. Just just don't worry about your own garden. You know what I'm saying? Unless somebody's asking for help, you don't necessarily need to give that advice. Now, if they do want advice, by all means, give it to them, but try to package it in a way that's teaching them, not belittling them, not putting somebody down and dragging them down to a level of making them feel bad to even ask or to put their plant out there for help. It just drives me to my, my main point of this video. It's the number one thing that's holding most growers back in most of this community. It's ego. People are ego tripping, man. Too many people ego trip and a lot of people have a good grow and they feel like their good grow is the best grow. It's the only way to grow. So if you're doing it a different way, well, it's not successful and it's not good. Or if you have a cultivar that doesn't produce as large of buds as others, well, you suck. Or if you have one that turns more purple versus one that doesn't, well, you fucked that one up. Now, this is just a misconception and it's a common misconception. It's a logical fallacy, actually. I, I, I totally understand. But at the same time, did anybody ask for your fucking opinion? hater and i'm not talking to you because i know you're a cool person but i'm saying to the hater to the actual person who's who's really just out to shit on somebody else's garden there's literally youtubers who are attempting attempting to to make a career out of just being a fucking troll just talking shit about people's gardens instead of trying to do something positive for the community people will be negative and, and they'll interject with negativity and i think that really boils down to having ego whether it's that they're insecure or that they really do think their shit doesn't stink and they think that everything they're doing is the best. And that's cool too. That's cool too. It's not. No, it's not. But again, the best way to help our community is to lift our community and to elevate our community. So the more people who are helping other growers, the less we have to rely on big commercial facilities with mid-grade booth for 60 and 8. Your ego should show in your work. Your ego and confidence should show in your work. And that's that. It shouldn't show in your mouth. It shouldn't show in the comment section. It shouldn't show when somebody posts a picture in a Facebook group or in a forum. It's really just to the point where people who are just getting started sometimes are afraid to show their work or to show their grow to get some help or even to be proud of what they have because somebody else is just dragging them down and treating them like shit. I think the big thing you can do as a grower, you as a good grower, you as a great grower, is to educate people around you who want that help. And if they don't want that help, well, fuck them. That is what it is. Let them grow their own flower. And if it's not great, well, they didn't want the help, it is what it is. But if you have somebody who truly is passionate about this plant and wants to learn and wants to better their garden, help them out gently. Don't be rude, don't, don't belittle them or make them feel bad about what they're doing. Cause I'm telling you, people don't listen when you treat them poorly. Now maybe if you have like a military mentality, maybe getting beat down a little bit might help you, but I just don't think it's gonna be beneficial for anybody in this community. So I think uh, us as growers, that's the biggest duty we have, is to help your fellow grower, to help your fellow consumer with minimal ego and maximum information and maximum compassion. Try to help your fellow grower be able to get to that point that they don't have to rely on outside sources or to, to run out of flour or get to the point where they don't have what they're looking for. Because why? Because we're working as a community. We're helping each other and we're lifting each other up. Speaking of community, a company that shows tons of love to us in the grow community is AC Infinity. And they help this channel continue to grow. And not only do they help this channel grow, but they also help all of us grow. Whether you're using their entire grow kit or you're breaking it down and buying their ventilation or their new Evo series lights, AC Infinity is top of the line and builds equipment for the community pretty much by the community. If you're looking to get any high quality AC Infinity products, go to acinfinity.com and use discount code CLTV at checkout. Another thing you shouldn't forget is to have a great day, even better tomorrow. Stay lifted. Peace.